What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Next Move My T channel. I hope everybody is staying safe. You and your loved one are healthy, and remain strong for this fight against the coronavirus. Uh, in front of me, you will see two products that you're probably very familiar with, and are probably in very high demand. These products are useful in sanitizing multiple surfaces against the COVID-19 virus. However, there's one place you can't really use these products, and that is your car interior. Why? Because these products leave a sticky film, and they tend to dry out uh, the surfaces that they are used on. And if you have leather interiors like me, or vinyl-like interior, you cannot use these products. So what can we use? Stay tuned. I'm going to show you. So a safer way to clean and sanitize your car interior is using a UVC light. There's a difference between cleaning and sanitizing. Sanitizing is actually killing bacteria and viruses on surfaces. Cleaning is just getting rid of dirt and loose uh, soilings on your uh, interior. So remember that difference. We are going to sanitize the interior, okay? So the key is using a UVC light. And this is an example of a UVC light system I got. It's a bulb on top, which has a universal uh, fitting for most light bulb uh, sockets. And just a little base. And this unit actually has a remote. Uh, the remote is a key because you want to be able to turn this light on, the UVC light, on in a, in a different room or as far away from the UVC light bulb as possible. So what is a UVC light? UVC light is basically a very specific uh, frequency of light. So we have light all around us that comes from the sun and they come in many many frequencies just like a radio station for example so this uvc is a very specific frequency within the uvc spectrum okay so light is broken up into multiple segments of spectrum and the uvc is a very fine uh, frequency within the uvc spectrum okay and it's been a proven technology that's been used over 40 years in cleaning viruses in multiple areas at once, like in a big room, for example. It's a very if, uh, effective way to cure it. I'm going to leave some links in, my, in the description of this video if you want to look into more research about the effect and effectiveness of UVC lights, okay? So the biggest thing to be aware of with using UVC light is not to be in the presence of it when the light is on from this uh, lamp, okay? So these lamps come in two forms. They come in the older version, which is a mercury lamp that's uh, placed inside a vertical clear glass tube or a LED version. Uh, this is the, pers uh, the version I have, the LED version. It's about the size of my hand. Uh, there's a reference to it. And mine's come with a remote. Uh, so this enables me to turn it on and off and has uh, fixed timers uh, settings, which are 15, 30, and 60 minutes. Uh, in general, you need to only shine the light in a specific room around five minutes to be effective. Uh, so in this model, I'll be doing it manually since I don't have a five minute setting. The smallest gradient, the smallest setting is 15 minutes. So you want to be not in the room when this light is on and let it do its work. So since I have a three row SUV, I'm going to first start it with the UV light placed on the front dash. That will give me coverage of the front uh, row. And then I may move it to the second row and place it there and turn it on for another five minutes. And I have a third row all the way back there. Uh, and I'm going to move the lamp to the dirt roll as the final step and run the light five minutes there as well. So it'll be a total of about 15 minute uh, run time. Okay. So lamps come in many sizes and different wattages. I have this particular model is the 70 watt equivalent. So it's 
giving off equivalent of 70 watt light but of course it's not going to use 70 watt of electricity because this is a led lamp okay and it's connected to a wire from the base that actually has a switch on it to turn it on and off that is in addition to my remote so you have two levels of safety and i'm just running a wire in from my house that's how i'm getting electricity for my lamp now if you live in an apartment building or you don't have access to a ex uh, exterior power source like i do you can get a uh, converter for your cigarette lighter in which you can then uh, convert the cigarette lighter into power for your light bulb. Uh, it doesn't need much, so I think uh, in most cases it should work. So you just need an adapter from a USB uh, for a cigarette lighter into a regular household outlet plug. So try, and you can search on eBay or Amazon and get something like that. But for me, I have a uh, power source. Okay, so let's get this started. So I have put on my windshield uh, reflectors so you can see the light a little better. Uh, basically, when I turn it on, it will make the car appear bluish purplish in color. Okay, so you know the light is on. And this is what it will look like. Okay, so I'm going to leave the lamp like this in the car and run it for 5 minutes in the front row, 5 minutes in the middle row, and 5 minutes in the third row. See you then. So some of you may have the question of why not just let sunlight do the killing? Well, sunlight is effective in killing uh, bacteria to a certain degree, but it's not the same as UVC light. That is a very specific spectrum of light that has been proven clinically to kill coronaviruses. And the reason being that the glass in your windshield and the side windows they have a film of laminate that actually helps prevent UV light from entering into the car. And that is for your safety. Uh, it was done to prevent things like skin cancer. Uh, unfortunately, this laminate will prevent the UVC from coming in, at least enough of it to come into your car's interior to help uh, disinfect and sanitize from the coronavirus. So that is why this light uh, the LED lamp I have is placed inside of your interior. So that's the reason why I use it. I'm not a doctor. I am not a scientist. I've done a lot of research online, and there's a lot of research out there that shows UVC light is proven and is used in many, many places uh, internationally. And the New York City MTA has adopted this method in mass sterilization of its subways. So that's it. That's all the steps you need to sanitize the interior of your car without harmful wipes and, and solvents and different chemicals touching the leather of your seats and your steering wheel. So that'll keep the value of your car when all this coronavirus business is done. Okay, so I'll see you guys on the next time. So take care and I'll see you next time.